Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and today I'm reviewing Star Wars The Clone Wars, and this is the Toys R Us exclusive droid attack on the Coronet Battle Pack. So this battle pack retails for $24.99, and it is exclusive to Toys R Us, so you can see the only a Toys R Us sticker down there in the bottom right. We also have some of the Galactic Card Game details on the bottom left, and also the packaging is quite larger than the regular battle packs, and the reasoning for that is because the Spider Assassin droid that's included with the set is actually quite a large figure. But how they designed the interior is pretty cool. It's like the actual cargo bay of the Corona itself. So there's a bunch of shipping containers and boxes and stuff inside there. It's just really neat looking. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's take a look at the side of the packaging. Really nice drawing here displaying the spider assassin droid. And then on the back we have pictures of all the items included. We also have a little screen capture here of this little scene that took place. And I can't remember which episode that was, but it was back in Season 2 and it was part of the Mandalorian arc. But we also have some more Galactic Card Game details over here. And it says, A spider assassin droid attacks clone troopers in the cargo hold of the Coronet. Duchess Satine is on board the ship, heading to Coruscant to meet with the Senate. The Mandalorian splinter group Death Watch wants Duchess out of the way, has sent a spider assassin droid to attack her. The deadly droid strikes two clones as assassin droid spawn slips away to carry out the treacherous mission. So, that is the packaging, so let's take a look at all the items that are included. Obviously the main one would be the spider assassin droid, which just is a really cool new figure. And then you also get two brand new clones, or repainted clones, and that is Clone Trooper Mixer and Clone Trooper Red Eye. So all the packings are included. Obviously you get three cards for each of the characters included. You also get three stands. Not sure why you need three, seeing you know that the spider assassin droid doesn't really need one, but you just get an extra one. And you also get a dice, of course. So that's all the packings that are included. So let's take a look at the clone troopers here now. Uh, so both of them are supporting the commander stone sculpt, so that is unfortunate, seeing that they are lacking some articulation, and it is a little bit hard to get them to stand it up to stand up but um other than that you know I don't really have any other problems with them the accessory that Mixer has here is a DC-15 carbine that's pretty much the only accessory he has he's got the signature 501st blue stripes going down his arms and he also has a unique paint job on his helmet there he's kinda got like these horns or I'm not exactly sure what those are but they're just markings going up on the top and down here on the cheek portion of the clone helmet and he also has a blue stripe on the back of his helmet there. And pretty much that's the only unique paint job that he has. Everything else is just black and white like a normal old clone trooper. So the articulation for him is a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, civil wrist, civil waist, civil hips, and ball hinged knees. So no ankle articulation and there is no ball jointed waist. Uh, so now let's move on to Clone Trooper Red Eye here. So unfortunately he is using the Commander Stone Sculpt as well. And the accessory that he comes with is a DC-15 Carbine. Uh, he has the 501st stripes going down his arms just like Mixer. And the only really unique thing about him is his helmet just like Mixer as well. And he's got this logo right here. I'm not sure exactly what it is but it's like a circle with some lines going through it. And he also has this blue triangle right on the center of his uh, helmet there. And he also has the blue stripe on the back of the helmet too, just like Mixer. <clears throat> so the rest of the figure is completely white and black, like a regular old clone. That's pretty much it for Red Eye there. Articulation is a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, civil wrist, civil waist, civil hips, and ball hinged knees. So that is the two clone trooper figures that are included with this set. Um, they are a little bit disappointing because the Commander Stone Sculpt, but they still are pretty cool that you get these new 501st. We haven't seen any new 501st for quite a while, actually. I think the last one was Clone Trooper Jesse, and that was, I think, winter of last year. I don't know. Uh, it was quite a while ago, but anyways, let's go over the Spider Assassin Droid. So this figure is a completely new sculpt, and as you can see, it has a ton of little legs on it, and each of the legs have individual points of articulation, which is really cool. Uh, so... Each of these legs here can be rotated 360 degrees around, and they also have a ball hinge joint right there, so you can move them up and down, left and right, pretty much 360 degrees around, and it's just really cool how much articulation. So that's for each of these legs here. They can all move, every single one of them. And each of them also has a hinge joint at the knees here, so each one of those can be moved at the hinge as well. So there is a ton of articulation in this little spider assassin droid. Uh, these two legs are right up here on the front. These are unique. 
Uh, they're not like the other six. They have these little knee pads up here on the top to kind of like uh, move things around. Uh, basically, these are its arms. The other portions are just its legs. And they use these uh, kind of like knives, basically. If you saw the episode, they pretty much like stabbed the clone troopers with them. So I'm saying those are kind of like knives, I guess. And these other ones are just grips or legs or whatever you want to call that. So these are the two arms. And of course, both of them had the same exact articulation. They can move left and right 360 degrees. They can go up and down. And of course, they have the hinge joint at the knee there. So... That is all the articulation for this figure. And the cool thing is, is up on the top of the head here, there's a little secret compartment, I guess, but this little portion right here, it just pops right off, and it reveals the little mini spawn assassin droids. I guess that's what they're called. That's what it says on the back there. Uh, but you get three of these little mini spider assassin droids, and they're pretty cool looking. Each of them has uh, six legs, but it is a little bit hard to get them to stand up. Only one out of the three that I have can stand up properly, and all the others are just have some warped legs. But I'm sure some hot water, you can move the legs around and get them to be posed how you want to. But uh, they do have quite a bit of detail, and there's even a little red dot right there for the eye, which is just really neat looking. And I think it's pretty amazing how they can put so much detail on such a small thing. Uh, so you get three of these little mini spider assassin droids, and they fit into the top of the main uh, spider assassin droid. So, how that works, basically, like in the actual series itself, they come out of these little holes up here in the top of the um, spider assassin droid, but obviously in real life, you know, you can't really do that, so it is cool that they included those and even added a little feature to hide them inside there, so that's really neat. And, of course, they have a ton of eyes going around the entire main body of the spider assassin droid, and each one of them has some red paint onto them to add a really creepy look to it. Uh, so that is the spider assassin droid. Pretty cool new figure. And overall, that's pretty much it for this droid attack on the Coronet Battle Pack. So you get a completely new deluxe figure, I guess. And you get two completely repainted clone troopers, which is nice to add in. Then you get three cards, a dice, as well as three stands. So that is the droid attack on the Coronet Battle Pack. Would I recommend picking this up? I don't know, that's up to you. If you're getting it just for the clone troopers, I would say not because, you know, they kind of are a little bit disappointing. There's nothing really too unique about them, just the helmets. And also the Commander Stone Sculpt is disappointing, but if you're going for the Spider Assassin Droid, buy it definitely. That is a really cool new figure. But overall, I would think just pick it up, period, because you get some new clones and also you get an entirely new figure that's just plain awesome. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this battle pack. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this review, and I'll see you all in the next video.